So let's pretend that um, I need a support for something. So let's say I have something sticking out um, too far and I'm not sure if the printer is going to be able to, to handle it and I don't want to like arch it up too much. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create some supports. Um, the way I would do a support is I would go up to the add menu, mesh, and we're going to make a cylinder as our support. So notice that the cylinder right now is just this kind of large object. What I'm going to do, I'm going to go actually scale it down. So I'm going to go to the view menu down here and I'm going to click and look at it from the top. So this is a very handy thing because now I can see it from two directions and what I need to do is scale it. So I just clicked the R key and now I'm going to click on the white circle there and I'm going to scale it down. I want to make it pretty small. I'm going to zoom in a little bit here. I want to make it even smaller. We just need a skinny little support that will stick to the build plate so that your whatever you're trying to support will have something that will hold it up so that it will um, that it won't fall and get messed up while it's printing. So I'm going to take this cylinder now. It still feels a little big to me. I'm going to look at it from the top again. I just hit the T key just in case you're wondering. Um, and I am going to hit the R key, click that white circle, and I'm going to make it smaller still, like that. I like that. That's good. So um, what I'm going to do now is just zoom out a little, and we're going to bring this over to my model. I'm also now going to go to view, and I'm going to look at it from the front, which is actually technically the back of my creature. But now I can actually hit the R key this way, and when I, I can actually make it bigger this way. So I can make it scale up. And now I'm going to make sure that it's stuck onto my platform. And it actually has to embed a little bit into whatever it is it's supporting. Notice right now it looked like it was supporting something, but it actually isn't. So I need to move this forward. Notice it's embedded in the platform. You don't want it to stick out the bottom, but you want it to stick into it. And if you're looking at what you want it to support, I need to move it out. And let's see. Um, it looks like I need to scale it up a little taller. One of the frustrating things about the scale tool is that it scales only it scales from the middle rather than from one end. So what that means is when I just scaled it, it scaled it down as well as up. And that's a little bit frustrating because I want it to be on the same plane as the platform. But I can go back and fix that. I can live with that. It's not the end of the world. It's just a little bit of a, of a pet peeve, a little annoying thing. Okay, so as you can see, I'm making this support, and I want it to move up a little so it's actually part of the object, and then we're going to have to cut it off, probably using something like a saw at the end. Now, the problem right now is if I look at it from the front, you'll notice that the cylinder is not on the same plane as the top of the platform. So, well actually the bottom of the platform was where I want it to be. The quickest way to fix this is if I go into edit mode and I click faces, I can actually just click the bottom face of that cylinder and I can drag it. That way I don't have to tweak the, the top one. And I want to make sure this is even. Sometimes it helps go back into object mode. It sometimes helps if I select all the objects and I move them all up so that they're on the red line. Then I have something to reference where they're all sitting. So it looks like my cylinder still needs to be adjusted a little bit. So I'm going to go to the object, edit, I'm going to click the bottom face, and then I'm just going to bring it down a little bit more. And let's look at it from the left viewpoint. Left point, viewpoint looked good. And I thought I had a creature sticking down um, below, but I actually have two creatures, two versions. I forgot I had a duplicate over here. So I'm just going to click on that one and get rid of it so it's out of my life. Now, in theory, I would be doing the same exact thing on the other side. So remember that to make a duplicate, I can go to Object, and I want to duplicate objects. So I can click this one. And the only thing I need to do is make sure that it's aligned. So I'm going to go um, do several rotations here. You can see it's like it looks like it's aligned and then it's not. And that's, that can be really frustrating. So sometimes those left and top views can be really, really helpful to, to help you see if you're actually 
in the right spot. So I'm doing that, and then I'm also going to look at it from the top, and then let's see here. So the top looks like I need to bring it in a little bit like that. So I'll go back to the left view. Okay. So now I've got these two supports in addition to my platform that my creature can use to rest on and hopefully we'll be cutting these off at the end. So what I'm going to do, well that's all I'm going to do right now. 